so what a fabulous Platinum Jubilee weekend been watching it all I think the Queen might appear on the balcony soon hope you can hear me over the wind again um, a couple of little birds in the comments section and the comments section of other people's videos and a live I saw have all said that Harry and Meghan left the UK yesterday afternoon at three o'clock I don't know if that's true I can well imagine actually that would explain their absence at all the other things <laughs> I personally think they didn't expect the booing they, they just didn't expect it and Trevor Colt made an excellent point today that apart from fake news on the mainstream media social media is full of these paid celebrities and people who want to pump up their own egos oh hello you've come to join us you've been nothing hello well i've been getting my microphone because my microphone blocks out all the wind he's been having a nap the last few nights not. he's been worn out by the dolphins um yeah social media is just full of nonsense from celebrities paying to make themselves look more popular but what they're actually doing is they're lying to themselves and what's the point in doing that if you then turn up at a public event and everybody boos you i think it came as a horrible shock to them both i think they've they're um they've run away i think they're in deep deep shock and i think they've got some re-evaluating to do meanwhile either tonight we're actually keeping an eye on gibraltar runway because we're expecting a private jet carrying the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Edward and Sophia coming to visit Gibraltar. That's what the little bird, the Gibraltar Chronicle, has been saying all week. And I believe them because the Gibraltar Chronicle is factual. It's a local newspaper for Gibraltar and they just wouldn't get away with making stuff up. So we're watching out for their private jet. I didn't see them at the pageant. Um, Oh yeah, Graham's just checking up. He's got a couple of friends, uh, ex-commercial airline pilots, who live on a boat in Jib, and, that, and they monitor the airport all the time, and they've got one of those airport radios. So we've got our finger on the pulse. So we'll see what they have to say. And also, Graham, you'll be out in force with your camera when you're not on the dolphin boat, won't you? Yeah, I'm off on Tuesday and Wednesday. So uh, I'll, be, I'll be down with my new microphone and uh, wind free. It's very good actually, it's been pretty good in the wind. And uh, I'll be uh, trying to get some uh, royal stuff for my channel. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, I did also email on Friday, because I only found out Edward and Sophie were coming on Friday. I don't know which is the best direction for the wind here. But it's so bloody hot here, I need the wind. Um, I've emailed Fabian Picardo to invite him and a guest and Sophie and Edward to come out on the Dolphin Safari boat and you never know, they might take us up on that invitation, I expect they've got a packed schedule, but if they do come out on the Dolphin Safari boat, oh we will be so proud, which brings me to the next point which I'd completely forgotten, do you remember Benji, our Benji, 10 years ago Sophie and Edward came for the Diamond Jubilee and our Benji was the only member of our family to meet them wasn't he? He was, yeah, yeah. He was at Notre Dame School. He'd have been eight years old, and um, the school chose six children to meet Edward. Yeah. And Benji was one of them, and he didn't know who the royal family were or anything about it. He said, "I met this royal guy today, and he had slaves to open the car door and everything." I know. He, he didn't have a clue, and I said, "That's the Queen's youngest son," and he was like, "Who's the Queen? What's a Queen?" Because he was only eight. So that'd be really cool if we could get Benji to meet Edward again and say, hey, do it, Edward. Do you want to borrow my microphone your... and make okay. another film? Well, I'll see how the, the sound comes up on this. I think it'll be all right. <coughs> I think they'll hear it all right. Anyway, so we'll keep you posted on the Sophie and Edward situation. Over and out from Gibraltar. <laughs>